One of our goals here on PTL is to take you to some of the coolest places in Western PA, but it's not every day that we get to take you to a real life castle. That's true. Well, we are today. Katie is live in Wilmerding and Katie, we understand that the walls are impressive, but it's the new purpose that makes this castle truly regal. You guys are absolutely right. This is such a beautiful regal place, but also it's a place where magical things are happening still. I am at Westinghouse Castle here in Wilmerding, and I'm joined by Gregory Beal, who is the direct executive director here. Gregory, please tell us a little bit about the history of this place. When we hear the name George Westinghouse, everybody knows that's a Pittsburgh name, right? But what does that really mean in relation to this space? So George Westinghouse had his headquarters here at Westinghouse Airbreak, which everybody calls Westinghouse castle and he was obviously someone who was very involved in the community and you know looking back at his legacy and knowing that this has become a school I, I think that would really be something that he would think was just amazing. Now we're looking at some of the pictures I mean it's just so beautiful it really is a castle like this is such a historic space. It is and uh, the original part of the building was built in the 1890s and then there was a fire and then it was rebuilt and then the addition was added which is where we're standing now is the additional uh, part of the castle that was added and we have obviously you know what it looked like before so we have made great strides in you know making this a really accessible place for our families and our students. Wonderful. So now speaking of your families and your students, I would love to bring in the principal now, Dr. Lombard. Kelly, can you please tell us uh, what the experience is like here at the charter school here now? Here at Westinghouse Arts Academy, we have over 42 uh, districts of students um, that we uh, focus the skills and the uh, introduction of all different kinds of arts programs. Our eight art, art programs are musical theater, theater, dance, instrumental, vocal, studio arts, um, such as this class, the ceramic studio, digital arts, and literary arts. Um, we also meet the needs of students uh, their academic needs from general classes to AP. We also offer college in the high school classes um, through our partnerships with Car uh, Carlo University and we're building a relationship with Point Park University. Now do you think that the weight of this space and the history around uh, Westinghouse Castle really sinks in with your students here? Do you feel like they really get a sense of, of the place that they are being educated in? I think once we opened up the Westinghouse Castle and that we moved into this space for, for the digital and studio arts, I think it really resonated, um, especially for students who are not from this local community, although we do have students from the Wilmerding area here at Westinghouse. And right now we are actually just sneaking in on a ceramics class. This is one of the various fine arts uh, opportunities that you have here. Yes, a um, majority of our students are in the studio arts program, um, ranging from uh, painting, drawing, digital um, uh, foundations, in addition to print, printmaking and um, uh, photography. We also have um, uh, students who work together in different classes, um, crossover curricular. We also have um, project-based learning. Um, and at the end of the year, we have a community-based arts festival to showcase all that we've done throughout the year. Wonderful. Well, maybe we'll have to come back for the festival. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you both for your time. And thank you to the students for letting us distract them a little bit in their ceramics <laughs> class. Guys, it really is a magical space. And the fact that it's still an operating institution in right. such a different way, I think, is just so special and so Pittsburgh. Heather wants to know if there's a moat to the castle. Is there like a drawbridge? I haven't that they seen have a moat or a dragon yet. <laughs> no dragon. I'll keep, <laughs> okay. I'll keep my eyes out. I have not seen them yet, but I'm not ruling it out. All right. I do like it's, it's cool, probably Katie. empowering to say that you are at a castle to study and learn. Well, no, it's right? just cool that it's, it's being really cool. reused for something like that. Right. Yeah, exactly. Really neat.